want to read your book? Do you want to come read the book? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a day in the life vlog, getting you guys all caught up on what's been going on with me and my family. So it is just after 11. I'm getting ready um, for the day and we're going to head out for a little bit with the boys, just go for a walk, um, go to the park and all of that. So like I said, I'm just putting my face on. I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, just doing my eyebrows and stuff like that. Um, I was diagnosed with lupus last spring, I believe it was, so it's been just over a year now, so I've applied a ton of sunscreen because it's definitely a, the sun is a big trigger for me. Um, I'm going to kind of get into that diagnosis and like a few other things um, a little bit later in the vlog. But yeah, that's been what's going on. I know I haven't put a video out in a little while, um, mainly because of just some health things that have been going on. Like I said, I'll catch you guys up with that um, in a little bit, but some health stuff that's been going on, um, as well as adjusting to Kyle being back at school. And um, another big issue that I've kind of been having was feeling like I had to put out a specific kind of video, a specific kind of video, and I couldn't really figure out what it was that I wanted to do. Um, and I would film something and then it wouldn't feel right or I wasn't happy with it and I would end up like deleting it or just not putting it out. Um, so I am trying to get more consistent. I really, really am because I do love filming these videos. And I feel like to 
fill in those gaps when I'm not really having those creative moments to figure out like a brand new video I'm gonna just kind of put in some vlogs and you guys let me know if you like these and if you want to see more of these but let me know what it is that you guys want to see on this channel more of less of give me all your feedback I definitely want to hear it um, so yeah I'm just gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna head out So my battery died, but we are back from the park and we all just ate lunch. So now I think it's time for a little cleaning montage.
Can, say. Don't don't touch that. It's say. The end say. That's called the lens. Lens say. That's not good. Lens say. The pasta. That's your egg. Or the sleep. I don't. Or the dead. Or wet for the wet for good. Wet wet for good. Or the dead is open. Open close. <laughs> What's it done do? I know. That's called the tripod. I did. That's the tripod. That's the tripod. Tripod. <laughs> okay, so I thought I would fold some laundry and talk to you guys kind of about what's been going on. <laughs> I think I'm talking to them. Um. So yeah, like I had mentioned um, earlier today, I was diagnosed with lupus last, it was last spring, I believe. It could have been like early winter or like late winter, um, but I'm pretty sure it was in the springtime. Actually, I think it was in June, but yeah, so I was diagnosed with lupus, which I was not expecting at all, um, like not even in the slightest that wasn't even like on my radar. Um, I was going to the dermatologist for like these spots that I was getting on my face and I kept getting told it was eczema. So I was basically being told it was eczema, getting prescribed a cream, and nothing was happening. So um, that ended up leading to my lupus diagnosis. So I have both cutaneous lupus and um, systemic lupus. So that definitely freaked me out when it happened. Um, I'm a lot less freaked out by it now. Um, I'm on medication for it and all that stuff. So... It's being managed so far um, relatively well. So that's what's going on with that. You want me to move this off? You stop? You okay? Like I was saying, Kyle was Kyle is a full time student. He's off this semester, which we've needed the break. Yes, when mommy's done folding this baby, I'm gonna get it for you. Okay, you can play with the other. Yeah, you can play with that. them outside and like my allergies are a wreck now. Really? Yeah. All day my nose has been like runny. I've been trying to film this portion of the vlog for hours now, but every time I have my boys around, of course they're interrupting me. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update, what's been going on with me and my family. The other thing that has been a big change for me personally in my life is I've recently been put on um, anti-anxiety medication I had basically it kind of escalated I want to say especially over this last semester that Kyle's been in school but since he's been in school it's been really hard um, 
Like I mentioned, he works full-time and he's a full-time student. So when he is in school, the semesters that he's in school, it's really tough on both of us, especially with twins. It gets very overwhelming and it just felt like from week to week, month to month, semester to semester, my anxiety was just getting so much more worse. I was being triggered by things that I could normally brush off. Hold on a second. Sorry, the boys were being so loud in the background. Um, but yes, yeah, so it was just, like I was saying, things that normally I could brush off or wouldn't would cause like a level of stress, but stress that would dissipate over time. That wasn't happening anymore. It was causing panic attacks and, you know, I was losing sleep. Um, and then just a feeling of feeling so overwhelmed in my day, but also very depleted. I felt so exhausted and busy and like it was all too much, but at the same time felt like, I guess over prolonged period of stress, my body would then just like shut down and I would go into like these depressive episodes. I didn't feel depressed, like sad, like I did have those moments, but I it was more of like just this exhaustion from feeling so anxious and overwhelmed. So I finally reached out to my doctor and um, they suggested medication and I'm really happy that I chose to go in that direction. I'm very lucky to have found something that works for me so quickly. So the goal for me right now is to help just balance myself out with this medication and get to a point where I can start prioritizing myself again, which kind of leads me to the next point now. And I'm really focusing now on getting my shit together. So I'm using this semester that Kyle's off as an opportunity to kind of catapult myself back into a fitness lifestyle again. And my goal isn't to lose weight or to gain weight or to change the look of my body. I'm focusing on my health for the first time in my life. I want this to be about being healthy, helping mentally with my anxiety, physically with my lupus, um, and all the physical symptoms that come with mental health issues. And for me, the physical symptoms that come with anxiety and depression. So um, I'm feeling so much better now that I'm on this medication. I really feel like a whole new person and I'm just gonna go with it. Um, but in saying that, I'm also really, really taking my time um, building a routine that is realistic for me. So I have these next four months while Kyle is off to get myself into a, a fitness schedule that I can stick with once he goes back to school or at least scale back in a way that makes sense. Um, so my goal right now, I'm starting really small. I'm just doing three days a week. And if you guys are interested in seeing what that split is gonna look like, what that regiment looks like, let me know down below and I can definitely do a video of that or go into more detail about that if you want. But today is day one and I'm going to be doing a back and bicep workout. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you that workout. Let's go.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I'm in bed, showered. I've got my neck massager ready to go and Outer Banks ready to play on the TV. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for sticking around. I know I haven't uploaded in a little while, but I already have next week's video planned after this one goes live, so make sure you stay tuned for that as well. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that before leaving this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.